Good afternoon, Bear Vultures. This might be here doing a recap over the profit taking set that I did and just kind of want to summarize the results of what I got. I want to do a quick background. So, in case you haven't watched any of the videos, you kind of know where I'm coming from. I did five months in simulator, a whopping nine months of live trading before figuring out that I needed to really focus in and, and take my profit uh, taking plan seriously. It's because I have a, a long five-year day trading business slash career plan. So my goal is to be uh, profitable in day trading by April of 2023. So uh, by no means am I looking to make money quickly or thinking that this is going to be easy. One thing in these last 14 months I've found out is I'm really good at losing. Not so great at holding my winners or taking profits, uh, holding on to those profits. And that's why I did uh, this sample set. Kind of want to gather some data. One thing uh, I took from Andrew's book, Chapter 9, is when he talked about baby steps. Mastering one thing and then moving on to the next. And this has kind of been my order. Uh, I worked on risk management and my stop loss plan in Simulator. Uh, I definitely did not want to go live until I was confident that I could stop out without any issues and not doubling down or averaging into a losing trade. Uh, once I did that, I figured out when I was live that my entry plan was not very good and that I needed to take a look at that. So I spent some, some hard-earned dollars figuring out a good entry plan. Now that I got that, I moved on to probably the most difficult thing I've run into so far, and that's uh, taking profits at the appropriate place. And that's mainly due to the psychology of things. So here was the problem that I had. In 112 trades, I was only able to get 19 of those trades above the 1R level. But the one good thing that came out, you can see, I only had basically three trades that were slightly below 1R, and most of those were simply uh, because of slippage, except for this one right here, which if you saw my recap, that was the one that I couldn't get out of a trade because of some montage issues. So that's what I was hoping to improve on. Uh, in order to do that, I developed a hypothesis that instead of taking a partial uh, quickly and then getting stopped at break even, if I waited at least the one R, that I would uh, end up getting uh, a larger move and, and making more profit. In the end. And what you can see here is once I got my entry plan down, I would take a quick partial because I wanted to feel good that I wasn't wrong. And then I'd get out because I didn't want it to run against me, ultimately resulting in me missing the larger move up to where I wanted to, to go. So uh, this was my results of gathering the information over the 23 trades that I took. Uh, it took me 27 trading days to get there. Uh, took 23 trades, 10 of them were winners, 13 of them losers, resulted in this terrible winning percentage of 46%. I actually, according to my numbers, need to be at about 55 to 60% to actually be uh, consistently making decent profit and increasing my net equity. But I also had five rule violations, which was the most I've had in any sample set. So there was a little bit of lack of discipline inside of that as well. The one good thing I did notice, though, uh, you'll see here in the conclusion, is that my net equity, I was only down with a 46% win rate, about 1% of my total net equity, which is pretty, uh, pretty good considering that horrible win rate. My gross equity was actually positive, barely, but it was still uh, positive in the end. So after I gathered all that, these are kind of the results of what happened. You can see this orange line here is where I started. I was able to get seven trades above that 1R level out of 23, which is way better than 19 out of 112. So 
I call that a win. And again, I was able to keep my winners fairly small within that one R level that I want. So that was a, a good aspect of it. So in conclusion, uh, you can see that 19 of those trades were higher. Seven of them was much better. Uh, one thing that did happen is my win winning percentage decreased. My rule violations increase, and I think this was a result of me focusing more on the profit taking and trying to get into trades and not sticking to my entry rules. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to retest this again. I want to decrease the number of rule violations in hopes of increasing uh, the winning percentage. Uh, but my overall take. And the biggest takeaway I got from this was that with the proper risk per trade, I was able to actually reduce my percentage of loss over the sample set. So uh, I've always had a larger percentage, and that was because I was risking 1% per trade for a total of three trades, which was coming out to each day. I was risking a whopping. 3% of my net equity versus a goal of 2%. And as you can see, those numbers just don't add up. So that's where I went to a per day. I am now only risking 1% with the same goal of 2%. So hopefully all of you have enjoyed this. Uh, if not, that's okay as well. It has been very beneficial to myself and hopefully it will be even beneficial to some of the newer traders in the community. Hope you have a great day and I'll see everybody in the chat tomorrow.